Hello and welcome to study early childhood education curriculum. Up Sajivani Vandakun. Curriculum for developing emotional and social development. Topic 6. Learning outcomes. Describe social and emotional learning in the early childhood curriculum. Discuss why social and emotional learning are important in the early childhood curriculum. Explain the variety of ways in which to facilitate the development of social and emotional competence. Describe a child's temperament and explain how temperament influence a child's behavior. Introduction. In order to negotiate children's interactions in group play positively, they need social and emotional learning SEL skills. If they are successful in dealing with social emotional problem, they will show the indicators of development SEL according to uh, Chelsea Brock, Hills, Bloom and uh, Gulat 2004. Self awareness, self management, social awareness, responsible decision making, relationship management. Early childhood education can play an important role in providing children with the opportunity to experience social and emotional awareness as well as to practice interpersonal skills as they get older. SEL provides a critical basis for a lifelong development and learning, which is why in this topic a teacher needs to know what SEL is, how she or he can bring SEL into the classroom and the indicators of SEL. Well, what is social emotional learning? Social emotional learning is a skill set which comprises of emotional process, social skills, interpretational skills and cognitive regulation. SEL is a learning process for both children and adult. However, this is how SEL can help children. So develop attitudes and skills to manage and recognize their own emotions, show and feel empathy, create and maintain positive relationship. Promotes respectful relationship, foster secure attachment with adults, make responsible decisions, handle challenges and situation effectively, develop understanding strategies and skills that support a positive sense themselves. According to Marion's 2011 effective ESEL programs must include these four key elements. Plan a series of activities that are connected to skills, offer active forms of learning, able to develop one or more social skills, teach explicitly for specific skills. SEL programs are beneficial uh, when they are intense, integrated in everyday interactions. As students are mentioned intentionally outside of the classroom and parents are involved in the child's SEL. According to uh, Brackett and Brewer 2011, there are five components or indicators of SEL, which is based on the collaborative or academic, social and emotional learning. <clears throat> These indicators are in interrelated sets of objective, effective and behavioral competencies. Let's look at five competencies or indicators. Social and emotional learning, self-awareness, recognizing one's emotions and values as well as one's strength and challenges, responsive decision making, making ethical, constructive choices about personal and social behavior, relationship skills, forming positive relationship, working in teams, dealing effectively with conflict, Social awareness, showing understanding and the empathy for others. Self-management, managing emotions and behaviors to achieve one's goals. Self-awareness, the five competencies are self-awareness. When children are able to accurately recognize and assess other people's emotions, thoughts, interests, values and their influence on their behavior. This includes assessing someone's strength and weaknesses. Children with self awareness have a well-grounded self-confidence and optimism. 
responsible decision making responsible decision making when children are be able to decide respect and construct choices based on consideration of ethical standards safety concern social norms respect for others and possible consequences of various actions responsible decisions making also include academic situations and contribution to the well-being of the school and community well let's look at the relationship skills well children are able to establish and maintain a healthy and cooperative relationship with different individuals and group of people this includes good communication skills able to resist inappropriate social pressure managing and resolving interpersonal conflict and asking for help when needed social awareness or social awareness this is the ability to empathize and see from others people perspectives even though they are from different background or culture children with social awarenesses are also able to understand social and ethical norms of behavior recognition and appropriate individual and group similarities and differences and are able to identify with family schools and community resources and support let's talk about the self management self management children with self management are able to control their emotions thoughts and behaviors Uh, well even in different situations they are also able to handle stress pers- uh, persevere when facing problems and to be motivated towards achieving their personal and academic goals well let's look at how to bring cell into the early childhood classroom emotional can affect a child's learning acquisition positively or negatively which is uh, why sel is important in children's development positive emotions will cause children to associate learning as pleasurable successful and retainable negative emotions on the other hand can interface with learning acquisition so therefore teachers have to find ways how to bring sel into early childhood classrooms According to Victoria State Government 2014, SEL can be brought explicitly on a regular basis for 10 to 15 minutes. In order to do some do so, there needs to be teacher capacity to promote the teaching of SEL explicitly by attending SEL courses, exploring literature on SEL, team teaching with experienced staff members on SEL. well a teacher can still help with a child's social and emotional development during uh mcclellan's 2005 according to her there are four types in which teacher can help with the development of sel creating a safe and supportive environment focusing on child's feeling helping child to develop language discussing topics on how children develop sel Well, let's look at creating a safe and supportive environment. Well, beside that, uh, teachers also need to take note of physical aspect of classroom to allow active learning. According to D. Mueller, two thousand and fifteen, this can be done by ensuring the classroom is clean and provides child size equipment for comfort and safety, adequate lighting. the class is arranged with clear paths and label centers and provide areas for both quiet and active play the physical aspect of the classroom is important to help with the development of cl to materialize in order for the children to not to be distracted by a disorganized classroom can communicate with their peers comfortably focusing on children's feelings in order for sel to develop the strength of a teacher student relationship plays a role as it differently directly influence sel so a teacher should a teacher student relationship promotes a sense of security in children making them feel safe and worthy making them more open to discuss about their feelings with the teacher 
A strong relation with the teacher also helps children to learn to regulate their emotions a better as children observe other adults on how they manage their emotions. Help children develop language. Teachers also need to develop, help children develop their languages so that they, they are able to express their, themselves better. So this is to avoid negative behaviors like screaming, crying or showing temper tantrums as they are not able to, to tell you how they really feel. Moreover, children will have an easier time learning to talk about their emotions when they have good language development. Teachers can build a child's vocabulary and knowledge by focusing on language and skills related to emotions by demonstrating to children the knowledge and the words behind the emotions. According to Marisa 2011, teachers can do so by providing language models when children try to express their concerns and how to solve problems. So teach them vocabulary of different kinds of emotions and try to give an example within a child context. So encourage children to communicate verbally uh, with their peers and assist them with they are unable to express themselves fluently. Explain children's actions uh, which help them to develop a CL and ask them to give other examples that are related with the action. Let's look at the uh, discussion topics of how children develop a CL. Brain development, memory and language are developmental factors contributing to a child's inability to understand and control their emotions, according to Marison 2011. Once, once children develop a better language control, teacher can focus on their brain development activities to expose children to self. So another way to discuss cell with children is by teachers modeling uh, positive behaviors like empathy, also generosity and helping others. Our children then must repeat the, uh, these positive behaviors with other children and teachers can discuss with them about how they feel. For example, a, a teacher teaches her children about helping others and models that behavior to them. So she also asks children to help others in the classroom by either cleaning up or helping them get up or when they fall down, the teacher then can discuss with them on how they feel about helping others. Well, let's look at social emotional development. Well, it is important for teachers to know the social emotional development of children so that she or he can identify when a child is ready to develop certain emotions and not get upset when they are unable to understand how to regulate their emotions at certain situations. A child's emotional development comes in an orderly process where complex emotions come from simple emotions. The primary emotions are shown during the first six months of life where yeah, emotions like joy, interest, surprise, distract, sadness, and again fear can be shown by infants. Self-conscious emotions come later in where children are about two years old as they have more self-awareness and knowledge about society rules. So there are many theories on the social emotional development. Uh, we are in this topic, the psychological theory and the behavioral theory will be covered. Let's look at the physical, uh, so psychosocial uh, theory. One of the most popular theories is psychosocial theory, which was developed by Eric Erikson in 1963, where the social development is explained based on conflicts, which children have to solve problems for personal growth. Explaining on the uh, uh, psychosocial theory, the social emotional development, age and explaining. Trust versus mistrust, birth to eight months. Trust is based basically the social needs to an infant and it's met when adults uh, nurture them, give food, warm up and let them sleep. Trust can be seen when the infant feels joy, contentment and wants to explore. 
autonomy versus shame and doubt 18 to 36 months toddlers are trying to be more independent since they are motor skills uh, language skills and cognitive abilities are growing however they are still dependent on adults autonomy can be seen in behavior such as eating by themselves or choosing their own clothes to wear industry versus inferiority age to uh, age 60 puberty uh, puberty uh, by the end of the preschool children will develop more on their comprehensive competence they complete tasks instead of just engaging into exploratory activities when children go to school they need the support material time and space to develop their competency and industry industry can be seen when the child shows signs for desire to produce something and demonstrate their accomplishments let's look at the behavioristic theory or oh, well this theory assumes that children develop their social emotional behavior when their actions are either being reinforced or not by adults and people around them well children first learn their social behavior through observations uh, where they take note and intimate the behavior of adults and other children around them children also have the tendency to imitate the behavior of adults or peers whom they like as they want to be like children them children are or children also imitate the behavior when it is being rewarded for example when a child imitates their mother behaviors of showing empathy and it's rewarded with praises the child will imitate this behavior again in the future however if a child imitates a negative behavior like screaming when she or he wants something and he rewarded with being ignored or gets scolded, she or he will likely not imitate this behavior again. Okay, as mentioned before, uh, it is important for teachers to understand the various stages of the development of SEL because uh, it determines the classroom expectation during the individual or group behaviors according to Brackett and River in 2011. Uh, well, let's look at these stages. Uh, well, development and regulating of emotions, relying on adults, learning social rules on, or norms, development of character and personality, development of selves. Uh, well, treatment and dispositions. Every one of us has our temperament and this goes the same to the children, their temperament is influenced by other people's reactions, influ included the environment. The characteristics may be included according to Macmill and Column 2007. Activity level, the unusual pace when doing an activity. Irritability, how fast a person can become upset. Zoo, the ability, how easily a person can be cal calmed once they are upset. Fearfulness, how a how aware someone is with something that is unusual in the environment sociability how receptive someone is when they are put in social situation these traits provide a framework for teachers to understand children's cell understand the children temperament is important for teachers to come up with expectation plan curriculum and choose teaching strategies Example, when a teacher knows that child's zoothi ability is low, she or he cannot immediately scold or punish the child for not being able to calm down fast after being upset. This is because children need more time experience to regulate their emotions. Temperament and dispositions. Children will understand more about themselves, their personalities and Temperaments through various experience and develop relationship with other people. Children who have multiple experiences have better levels of confidence, able to en enhance their self-image and uh, have better success in regulating their emotions. Children will understand more about themselves, their personality and temperaments through various experience and relationship with other people. Children who have multiple experience have better level of confidence, able to enhance their life image and have better success in regulating their emotions. Uh, social emotional development in a group setting. Well, being in group 
is somewhat like a main mi miniature community which requires social skills to get through. In order to acquire, require social skills, children need direction, support and experience led by their teacher as the children do not automatically know how to use their social skills. A social competence which is the ability initiate and maintain a relationship with people around you. It is important in early childhood development that teacher's role is to both guide and lead children to model behaviors like compassion, responsibility, trust and concern for their peers. Following a list of behavior that need to be encouraged when a group or by peer setting in the classroom, McQueen and Coleman 2007, sharing, taking turns, being patient, being respectful, negotiating, cooperating. Telling or explaining about their preferences, explaining actions, accepting compromises, empathizing with others, handling impulses, being responsible for actions. When developing a child's social emotional skill, teacher need to be patient because children might regress, make mistakes and need time to practice their skills and abilities, especially when it involves social emotional domains. So that's all for today and good luck with your studies and thank you so much.